answer the question, should I buy a male puppy or a female puppy? And this is a really great question. Many people have a preference because they've grown up with either a male or female dog, or maybe they had bad luck with one gender, um, with one specific dog that they purchased, and um, they're attributing that to the gender. And this is, um, this is something that we really like to answer because um, in Golden Doodles, there really is not any truth to there being a gender difference in personality, size, or coat type. Now, the purebred dogs, sometimes there are. A good example would be that of the Golden Retriever. A male Golden Retriever is typically larger in size, both in weight and height, and they do often have a much thicker, fuller um, coat than the females. And again, this is something that's according to the breed standard, but you may have, you know, a female that was larger than another male. It, those, um, it, does, it does happen like that, but when you're talking breed standards, um, the breed standard for a Golden Retriever is that the males would be larger and fuller coat and oftentimes a square, stockier appearance than the females. This does not um, hold over to be true once you're breeding the Golden Noodles. And the reason for that is, is because of the addition of the poodle into the, the new breed. Poodles come in such a large variety of sizes, anything from little tiny to um, as big as, uh, even as large as a Great Dane with the Royal Standards, um, that you could have a female puppy take after a very large male poodle in the background, and uh, um, then the, the opposite of that could be true too. You could have a male puppy take after uh, something that was smaller in the background. So in a litter of golden doodles, you can have male puppies that are smaller than female puppies and vice versa, and that would be the reason why, because of um, who they could take after in the background of the different sizes of, of poodles that may be there. Now, as far as personality and temperament, there is also no real truth to males being more affectionate or, you know, females being um, easier to train. Anything like that is just, um, it has not proven to be true in our breedings. We can breed a set of parents this year um, and that same set of parents again next year. And in this year's litter, we could have a female be the dominant puppy in the litter that's, um, you know, kind of taking charge of the other ones and being the boss in the litter. And then the next year, it could be a male. So in reality, each puppy needs to be looked at and assessed by the specific attributes that that puppy has, setting gender aside. The only real reason we like to put gender preference into one of the top picking choices for a family would be if you're purchasing a puppy for your six-year-old daughter who just really wants to put pink bows in its hair and dress it up and she would just really prefer a female, that's, that's a good option. Or what happens a lot is uh, maybe in your household you've got a mom and dad and three daughters and dad is just outnumbered and <laughs> he wants a little boy in the house. We can accommodate to those types of reasons. but. What we like you to do when you come to choose a puppy from Lakeshore Doodles is to set gender aside and come explaining the energy level of your family, the needs of your children, how often you're home, how often you're away. Is the puppy going to be going to sports activities during the evenings with you or are you going to be home sitting on the couch with your family? Um, we want to know the specifics of your family and then we can help you to choose a temperament, disposition, coat type, color, um, and just the overall puppy that's going to meet the needs of your family. Um, instead of just saying, I grew up with a female, I'm most comfortable with a female, or I think males are easier to train, it's better to set all of that aside and come and let us help you to choose the puppy that's most appropriate for your own and family.